Okay, fight fans and fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. Okay, so as usual, first off, congratulations goes out to Xavier Aloui and Eamon Zahadi, both of them having a great outing in their pro MMA fights here in Montreal at Hybrid MMA. Uh, Xavier Aloui, just a tremendous performance, and Eamon Zahadi with the quick first round knockout. Just a great show overall, also notable win by Joe Valet. Make sure you guys check out Hybrid MMA. Great stuff from them. Happy to have them here in Montreal. Now, uh, that leads me to what I did on the weekend. Instead of going to Hybrid MMA, I was lucky enough to go down to New York at MSG and catch the David Lemieux versus Gennadine Golovkin fight. And, uh, man, never been to New York. First time. Big things for me. And uh, it was super cool. Met some great people. Um, really uh, had a fantastic time. I was stunned. I was a little nervous. You know, New York being a much bigger city than Montreal. But uh, to be honest, everyone was so freaking polite. It was unbelievable. I uh, had no idea New York was going to be that easy to get around in. And uh, honestly, I had a fantastic time. I uh, also had the privilege of being there with a former champ. Ian McCullough and his apprentice and uh, pro fighter Shaquille Finn and also a young amateur champion uh, Caitlin Clark. Now uh, it was a fantastic trip. We had a great time in New York. Uh, go to my Facebook page and check out the pictures also on the fightcity.com uh, or the Fight City Facebook page. I just had a tremendous time in New York and uh, Although I didn't get the outcome that me as a fan I would have liked, um, honestly, uh, I don't know what Lemire was thinking. I know uh, I don't want to be too critical because I'm going to point out some things about the fight. But um, here's the thing: everyone, but everyone was. It was a consensus. If Lemire was going to win it, he was going to have to go at him kamikaze style and uh, go for the gusto. And uh, I don't know, he seemed reluctant, and I honestly think that's in due part to uh, Golovkin's jab. It is just about the meanest thing on the face of the planet. I am uh, beyond lucky to have witnessed it in person. Just, wow, what a fighter this guy is. I can go back to being a fan of him now that my uh, Lemire Montreal fighter is uh, no longer facing him. Here's the thing, he's he's up there. I also got to watch another pound for pound fighter, uh, Roman Gonzalez, and uh, the the whole card was just exciting as hell. So um, first to start off, Gislain Maduma's fight against uh, Maurice Hooker. That was a tough fight, and uh, Maduma was losing in the beginning, but then he turned it around and he was winning the the back end of the fight. In my mind, actually won the fight, and. Uh, the reason for this is Maurice Hooker actually spat out his mouthpiece. Not from a punch, he just spat it out, plain old, I need to take a break. Um, it's an old dirty trick and well, I mean, he used it and it's on the ref for not um, acknowledging it or at least, you know, giving a strong warning or something. Now, uh, there was also an issue with water in the corner and they had to pass the towel and they bought a little bit of time. To be honest, uh, if the corner saved that fight from Maduma's hands. He had his hands around that fight and, um, you know, they took it away from him. I feel uh, tremendously bad for him, but he is a true champ and I know he's going to be back and uh, look out for Gisele Manny Maduma. That is not all she wrote. Um, now, that leads me to the heavyweights. Mm, man, this was a hell of a fight. It, I've, you know what? MSG is just one hell of a, a location to see a fight and... Uh, to see heavyweights go at it in there, it's just, you know, it's awe-inspiring. Now, uh, the Argentinian guy had never been out of Argentina. And, uh, you know, it was obviously, you know, very evident that uh, maybe his record was a little, you know, 
more than it was. Now, King Kong just knocked him the hell out. It was a beautiful fight from Luis Ortiz. Again, I'm a big fan of his. If you follow me, you already know this. Just a fantastic guy, too. I had the pleasure of meeting him. Now, um, that leads me to uh, the Roman Gonzalez fight versus uh, Valoria. Just a fantastic fight. Man, Valoria is tough as nails. If Roman Gonzalez is number one in that division, then Valoria's got to be number two. I mean, it's there is no shame in that loss. It was just a great fight. And uh, Roman Gonzalez, man, again, people, Chocolatito. Man, just bad as hell, bad as hell. This dude put on a clinic. It was cool as hell. And, uh, you know, the cream on top of all of this was getting to see David Lemire attempt to unify the belts against Gennady Golovkin and uh, the crowd was just nuts. It was nuts. You know, um, I didn't think there would be that many pro, you know, Golovkin fans considering, you know, the mirror is still an East Coast guy. You know, we may be Canadian, but at least he's, you know, he speaks English, and I don't know, I just figured there'd be more Lemire fans. But, you know, we were there. We were there. Montrealers were there. It's just the Triple G fans just outweighed us. It was crazy. Now, um, the fight goes down, and everyone knows, everyone's already seen, you know, uh, the ref stops it in the eighth. And I totally agree with the stoppage. I personally feel you save him for another day. I, I, I just feel like David never got off. He could... He couldn't land that left hook. I, I was praying for him to land that left hook, and he just couldn't land it. Golovkin's just, you know, too good. He's just too strong. And again, that freaking jab, man. That jab's just insane. Now, um, the other thing I want to point out to people that are uh, going to be quick to judge David Lemure and uh, discount him as a fighter, I want to say something. There's a point in the fight, the one knockdown, where uh, Golovkin knocked him down. And as he knocked him down, he hit him while he was down. Now, as anyone that knows the rules, had he just stayed on his knee and stayed there, or rolled over and acted like something was up and you know what, I don't feel right, so, oh man, something about that punch, and they would have stopped it right there, he would have been the undisputed champ. He would have had all the belts. He would have gone home. Golovkin would have had a loss. Think about that. You know what the kid did? He got up. The kid got up. That's insane. But he did it. Now, um, if you go read my piece on thefightcity.com, obviously I talk about how he is uh, doing this for the fans. This is really about where his place in boxing history will be. And he was taking it so seriously. And uh, I believe that is uh, maybe the strongest proof of it. So, you know, kudos to David Lemure. You could have rolled over and um, maybe fought another fight at another time. He would have definitely have asked for the rematch now. And uh, instead, man, you went the hard road. And, uh, man, hats off to you. That was such a tough fight. Most dudes were scared to take that fight. And you stepped up. I said it once. I said it before. You're a terrific champ, and uh, I'm still with you. So, David Lemure, man, it was a beautiful fight. And uh, to boot, ladies and gentlemen, he's now officially a millionaire, so suck it.